last week uh so technically i skipped a week whoops <laughs> my bad uh, uh welcome to recap monday <laughs> hi i'm sb mitch give me a follow on twitter this thing up here or uh you can subscribe to the channel uh but hi, hi pals as I said before, it's Recap Monday every other week, except for last week because I wasn't paying attention. I will <laughs> take a deep dive into a box that is sold all the way through, put it up against how much I actually thought it might make versus how much it actually did because, you know, it's fun to open up boxes and everything, but the end result is supposed to be to make money. Most of the time we do, so this is why this series exists. Plus you guys said you liked it, so I kept doing it, I guess. I just forgot last week. Hey, I'm gonna mention a bunch of times how I forgot last week, so. Uh, today's box is the box right after the one from last time we did it. So uh, this was a box that was purchased for $50 February. It's a Soul Supremacy computer box, obviously. This box was $425. Even though I bought this box the same week as the one we did last time, that's basically where the similarities ended with this box. This box had 10 pairs in it. Seven of them were fly knits. Um, so if you didn't see the video, Here's a quick rundown of what was in it. And uh, uh, keep your eyes peeled for the very last pair in this box because it's good. There you go. Um, what's the colorway say? Squadron Blue. Colorway on the box says electric green and that's a pretty good set of uh, adjectives to describe these. Oh, these are those like multicolored kind of ones. It's not really the multicolored one. I forget what the colorway is called, but these are cool. Uh, the colorway on the box for these says Brave Blue. These I actually remember because I had a pair of these in a different size, but these are the total orange ones. These are actually really cool. Lightly worn again. I think these are just like Volt. They kind of look like the they're taking hints from the uh, Air Max 95. So these are a little bit different. These have Volt on it, but I don't think they're, I mean... These are cool. I mean, this is nice because it's got a different kind of pattern on the lateral side versus the medial side. I think that's a really nice contrast. We got a Clark's, but it's Supreme Clark's. It's a Clark's Wallaby Low in a size nine. But there you go. It's a Clark's Wallaby. I mean, it's basically like a moccasin type thing, but heavier. So these are worn, but it's I think it's the uh, the Olympic Flyknit um, Prestos. These are my favorite kind of boxes to get inside of any kind of beater box, regardless of how much the box cost. A pair of 2003 flu games. Uh, this is really cool. Always happy to see mid 2000s Jordans in OG colors in beater boxes. Um, this box was opened on January 26th. Uh, the video went live on the 5th of February. So surprisingly enough, none of them sold before the video went live which I'm now realizing is a good thing because I needed pairs for $50 February, so good job, me. The very last pair to sell in this box was the Flu Games, those 03 Flu Games. Love that pair. And they sold on March 18th, so that gives this box a sellout time, I guess you could say, of a little bit over seven weeks, which is pretty good, especially for a box with this many weird pairs in it. Even though the purpose of this box was to have pairs for $50 February. Only four of them sold on the website, the other six sold on the Goat app. So again, another happy accident. I don't have any ex explanation for things like that, but they happened, so whatever. The, uh, the estimated market value on this box was like stupid high, like unrealistic dumb high. Like there's no reason this box had such a high <laughs> estimated market value, which we'll talk about a little bit later. So we have that number, and after assuming they would all sell on GOAT, that gives us an estimated profit of, what, $650.06? Which is like $160 more than the box actually cost. But uh, but that gave us an estimated return on investment of 134.03%. No, 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 no chance. Now let's look at the spreadsheet for this box. As some of you may already know, the far right column is filled with the actual sale prices before like fees and shipping, which uh, which came out to an impressive 
$952. Pretty good for a box that cost under $500, if I do say so myself. After subtracting the box cost, uh, website and goat fees and like shipping, we're at $353.63. And that means an excellent return on investment of 72.91%. Now let's take a look at what happened here. Number one, I needed inventory for $50 February. Yeah, I know I said this exact same thing in the last recap, but the fact still stands. I just, I just needed pairs that I could afford to let go for cheap. The even funnier part is that like hardly any of the pairs sold through the $50 February program. And there's really no reason why that happened. It just happened. Just kind of one of those, oh well situations. Number two, something we talk about every video because consistency, I guess. The market value versus the actual sale prices. Uh, specifically, the fact that the market value was extremely high. Uh, I think the right word for the market value on this box is bloated. But that's basically because there's not many comparables for Flyknit racers and trainers in the year 2021 because it's not 2014 anymore. The even trickier part is there was seven of them. 70% of this box of Flyknit trainers or racers. So that made trying to give them an actual value a lot more difficult. I mean, it's not actually difficult. It's just not to mention the Supreme Clarks somehow sold for $60 on the day they went up on the website. I mean, that's cool. I just didn't expect it. But, but overall, there just wasn't a lot of data for this box. Like there just wasn't a lot of sale, sales data for this box. So I had to guess. And finally, number three, that return though very good return because of that lack of data that i was just talking about it really gave me free reign to kind of play with the prices a little bit so i was able to really let some of those pairs go for way under the unrealistic values that you see on other pairs on goat because why anyone would pay 110 dollars for a flyknit trainer a worn flyknit trainer at that and on top of that like i knew the flu games would sell like they sold for 280 on goat and it's just like it's just one of those things you know is going to happen because it's a nostalgic pair it's an og colorway and it's from a really good era of jordans i mean on top of that soul supremacy is like notorious for undervaluing pairs like that like older pairs probably like any pair that's like over five years old from today they just put a really low value on and people still want those so luckily for me i just kind of let them sit because I knew they would sell. I didn't think they would sell that quick and for more than what I valued them in in the video, but they did, so very good. So this box did really, really good, which is hilarious because the box that I got the same week, I lost $18 on. So this is a complete 180 from the last box we recapped. So the Flinded Trainer box did very good surprisingly enough. Hey, thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting the channel. Thanks for being interested in this series. Sorry I didn't do it last week. I don't know if you heard me earlier. I said I forgot to do it last week. Real quick, I will be moving. We're moving apartments, so I won't have many videos in the next two weeks. Uh, there's even a possibility there won't be a beater box, not this Friday, but next Friday. But I'll let you know, I guess. Maybe I'll go live or something and we'll do something. Yeah, that's the end of this video. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. We'll see you next time. Till then, take care of each other. Keep sneakers fun and all that fun stuff fun. I'm awesome at talking. Hey, see you later. Bye.